What's up, YouTube? We're running a quick video. We'll take another unboxing, first impressions, and update video. This fragrance is also a candidate for a cheap but good fragrance. This fragrance comes from the house of Antonio Banderas. Let's talk about Blue Seduction. Stay right there. So like I mentioned before, this fragrance does come from the house of Antonio Banderas, Blue Seduction. So Blue Seduction from the house of Antonio Banderas is an Oriental Fougere fragrance released in 2007. The nose behind this fragrance is Olivier Cresp. It is an Eau de Toilette concentration. Let's check out the presentation. All right, so here's a box for Blue Seduction. Uh, pretty plain box here, not too much going on with it. Do like the color of blue here, nice bright sort of navy blue. Uh, we've got a little square here that has the name on here, has information at the bottom. We do have a picture of Mr. Banderas on the back, um, and it does say AB on top. Other than that, kind of a plain box, not too much going on with it. Let's check out the bottle. All right, so here's the bottle for Blue Seduction. A uh, nice heavy glass bottle, I really do like this glass, nice and sturdy. We have uh, an imprint here at the bottom, looks like almost uh, like some pebbles or something like that. Uh, from the inside, it does resemble, I guess, sort of like the ocean floor maybe. Not sure if that's what they're going for. Uh, we have a plastic silver cap here, not much weight to it, kind of cheap. It does say AB on top there. Um, if you turn it to the side, we have a sticker with the name on it here. This is 100 mil, and I paid $17 for this fragrance on eBay. All right, so here are the notes for Blue Seduction. In the top, we have bergamot, melon, menthol, and black currant. In the mid, we have cappuccino, green apple, cardamom, seawater, and nutmeg. And in the base, we round things off with amber and woodsy notes. All right, so I don't know much about this fragrance. Uh, I did see a scent of the day post the other day on Facebook, and someone was talking about this one and how it was underrated and uh, how it's kind of a hidden gem and also a cheapie. So that's really kind of uh, got my attention, you know, the fact that it's $18 for 100 mil and it has some of these notes uh, in there. And the nose behind this fragrance is Olivier Cresp, and he is a genius. Uh, yeah, but some of these notes in here, like the bergamot, the melon, the black currant, really caught my attention. And obviously the amber... Uh, the seawater and the green apple and cardamom are all my favorites as well. Um, so yeah, looking forward to trying this one. So let's get this one of first impressions. All right, here we go. Hoping this fragrance is going to be nice for a hot day because it is very hot outside. I think we're pushing over 100 today. So if this is good, uh, I'm going to need it. So here we go. A couple sprays on my hand here. Decent sprayer for a cheapie. Hmm, okay. Yeah, immediately get a crisp um, bergamot. The black currant, I believe, gives it a little bit of that bite. Because I've smelled black currant in other fragrances before. Off the top, this immediately reminds me a little bit of I Am Trash from Etat Libre de Orange, but it's not exact. I'm just saying, just the opening of it. Some of the fruit notes. So I'm getting. Um, the bergamot, getting a little bit of that melon. Usually I get more of a like a like a sweeter kind of cooling kind of melon note. But right now I'm just getting the bergamot, the black currant. That cappuccino note is actually starting to creep up a little bit. Reminds me a little bit, slightly a little bit of Ferragamo uh, Uomo. That one has like the, I think that one has cappuccino, if not some coffee beans or something like that in it with some fresh notes. This doesn't smell bad. It's the, the cappuccino is definitely starting to peek its head in there. Uh, it's not a deal breaker. It's a little bit, you know, kind of off with these fresh notes on top. Uh, it's not as um, convincing as a Ferragamo Uomo. But no, it's, it's actually starting to blend pretty good now. It's actually starting to smell. The, the green apple starting to come in. So the sweetness from that and the tartness from the green apple it's working okay with the cappuccino. It's not dominant. The cappuccino note is not dominant in this. It's sort of in the background, so it's it's blending nicely. But yeah, the opening notes are very tart, very crisp, um, citrusy and fruity. That melon's starting to come in now. Um, the melon is giving it a bit of uh, almost like a cantaloupe kind of smell. I'm guessing maybe it's the same thing. I'm not really sure, but I'm definitely getting sort of a cantaloupe kind of melon. Yeah, this is a nice fragrance um, for 18 bucks. Um, this it spread a lot of juice. So I was really happy about that because I love whenever the the freshies you know spread a lot of juice. That way you don't have to keep reapplying. This does smell nice. I'm getting the C notes now. Um, besides the Ferragamo Uomo comparison, I can't really you know think of what this reminds me of. 
you know, obviously it's only been a few minutes, but it does kind of smell like it might have a little bit of staying power. I mean, for $18, I'm really just looking for at least six hours, or maybe at the most six hours. You know, when it comes to fresh fragrances, I don't really expect too much. I don't expect a ton of longevity. Uh, I don't expect the performance to be awesome. It's always nice, and it's great if I can get it. Uh, I've been surprised by a couple of fragrances in the past, but yeah, right now this one's definitely uh, has the bergamot, the black currant, that melon. I'm not getting any menthol. Maybe a little bit of freshness from that, but it could be coming from another note. Definitely the cappuccino, but it's not off-putting. It's almost like a chocolate kind of, um, a chocolatey coffee kind of smell. The green apple. I know the cardamom is lending to some of the sexiness because this is almost like, it looks like a day fragrance from the juice, but it's also called Blue Seduction. So I can see, now that I read the name, where, where the seduction comes from. The cardamom and that uh, the cappuccino note kind of give it a bit of a night, maybe a date night kind of feel to this one. Uh, which is nice because you don't get that a lot from blue oceanic fragrances. So this might be like a blue oceanic, uh, you know, fragrance that's for a date night, which is kind of cool because that didn't happen very often. So yeah, I'm definitely getting like a, a fruity fragrance here with uh, some sexiness to it, which is nice because uh, it's it's not boring. You know, I'm not, I'm actually still interested right now. Yeah. This is a decent little fragrance here, guys. I'm actually surprised by how these, these notes are mixing in with each other. Um, I'm surprised by the quality of it. Uh, it's not bad. Um, I know everyone throws around synthetic, but if it doesn't smell like hairspray, I'm not going to call something synthetic right now. It smells pleasant. Yeah, so not a bad fragrance, guys. Like I said, 100 mil, $18, I think what I got this one for on eBay. Yeah, kind of a, a cheap cap, kind of a cheap box here but uh i mean this isn't a bad fragrance right now this might be a cheap but good fragrance i'm gonna i'm gonna wear this one today and then wear it over the next few days and uh give you guys an update shortly talk to you then all right well i'm back with my update for blue seduction from the house of antonio banderas so i spent quite a bit of time with this fragrance and i must say i do like it uh pretty much what you get with this fragrance is a nice fresh citrus opening you get all the fruits in this one the bergamot the melon the black currant the green apple mainly in the top um, the sea notes were in there, but it wasn't like, uh, I think it was seawater. Um, you know, it wasn't over the top with the sea notes. It wasn't super salty or anything like that. Just had a kind of nice freshness that added to it. The cappuccino was there, but it was in the background. I think it was a nice touch. It kind of gave it a little bit of sexiness. Uh, but yeah, I really did like this fragrance. And I believe it was 18 bucks. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below for how much it was. But I did like this one. And uh, I'm, I'm glad I found it. So longevity for this fragrance is about five to six hours. Uh, it wasn't a beast by any means, but I was able to detect it after the fifth or sixth hour was still there. It just depends on how much you spray. I went with about eight heavy sprays. Uh, this atomizer does distribute a lot of juice, so that's a good thing uh, about this fragrance. Another good thing about this fragrance. Uh, but yeah, so five to six hours of longevity, you'll get out of this fragrance. Projection for this fragrance was average, uh, maybe slightly above average considering the price of this fragrance. Uh, but I did get about two hours of okay projection maybe the first hour uh, was about a foot and it came a little bit closer after that but it did hang around for a while longer like I mentioned in the longevity uh, this was no beast by any means but I did get noticed wearing this fragrance occasions for this fragrance I'm gonna say a casual wear considering the opening uh, but with that cappuccino note it does get kind of sexy uh, and that cardamom as well uh, so I would even venture to say this would be nice for a date night uh, maybe if you're out like you know in warm weather uh, but you're out like on a beach or on vacation, but it's kind of warm outside. This would be nice for a date night as well. So I'm gonna say casual wear, safe enough for work, definitely, but definitely uh, casual wear and date night. Edges for this fragrance, I'm gonna say are 20 and up. Uh, it is cheap enough for the younger guys, uh, but I don't know how they're gonna approach the cappuccino note. Uh, if you guys uh, think you guys can handle the cappuccino note, definitely 18 and up or even below that because it is nice and fresh and inoffensive and fruity. Uh, definitely not going to really offend anybody wearing this one. Uh, but the cappuccino note uh, slightly makes me think that some of the younger noses might not appreciate that. Uh, so I'm just going to say 20 and up for right now. Overall, I am going to say this is a cheap but good fragrance. I really did enjoy wearing this one. Uh, it was nice and fresh in the opening but kind of sexy. Uh, you know, a little while later with the cappuccino and the cardamom, which, you know, lends it to more occasions to really wear this fragrance. Uh, it was definitely interesting offensive it's not gonna offend anybody at work or at school or anything like that um, you know definitely probably gonna get you uh, complimented uh, but yeah this was a nice fragrance it's very affordable uh, it's got the best of both worlds got a little bit of fresh got a little bit of sexy um, you know this the nose 
this fragrance is Olivier Cresp, and he knows what he's doing. He's a, he's a legend in uh, the fragrance community. Uh, he's made tons of other fragrances. Uh, so definitely, you know, this is a good fragrance, guys. I think people are sleeping on this one. Either that or maybe everyone knows about this one, and maybe I'm just late to the party. Either way, uh, if you haven't tried this one, I think it's worth the 18 bucks. Uh, I think the highest I would probably pay for this fragrance maybe 20 20 to 25 bucks but that's about it uh, so brandon over at auto fragrance did say this resembled versace man Al fresh i didn't really um agree with that uh, after a minute i you know kind of saw what he was talking about but i that wasn't the first fragrance i thought of whenever i was trying it uh but i trust his nose so if this one can be compared to that one um i don't think they're exact i mean i think if you own uh, the versace you can definitely wear this one i don't think they're that exact uh, I can see the resemblance a little bit now, but not so much. So if you own that one, you can definitely get this one. Or if you like that one, I think you should try this one. I do think this is a cheap but good fragrance. So has anyone tried Blue Seduction from the House of Antonio Banderas? Let me know your thoughts on this fragrance down in the comments below. All right, thank you guys so much for watching another video on my channel. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for future first impressions videos and fragrance-related content just like this. Please follow me on Instagram, Dollars and Cents. There, you'll find fragrance-related photos and future contest winners. And as always, until next video, you guys take care. Thanks.